September is Urology Awareness Month and today we're going to talk about overactive bladder. Could your bladder's microbiome hold clues for diagnosing and treating OAB? Researchers wanted to see if women with overactive bladder had a different bladder microbiome compared to women without bladder symptoms. 60 women with OAB and 35 healthy controls were compared using midstream urine samples. Samples were cultured under aerobic and anaerobic conditions and analysed using 16S RNA sequencing. The results found that these women had similar levels of bacterial diversity with one key difference. Lactobacillus, often linked with bladder health, was less common in OAB patients. Proteus, a uropathogen, was more common in OAB patients, suggesting that the bacterial species present, not just the quantity, may be linked to symptoms. This study is larger than many earlier bladder microbiome reports and first shows statistically significant differences between OA and control groups. More research is obviously needed to prove causality. Mapping the bladder microbiome is an important part of better treatment for OAB patients. During this Urology Awareness Month, it's important to highlight that OAB is not just in your head. Microbiome science shows that there are real biological differences in the bladder environment. As always, if you like this no-nonsense breakdown of papers, follow us for all things UTI and pelvic health.